Today's episode marks the beginning of renovating our future home, starting with cleaning it out and clearing it out just in time for the roof workers to begin deconstructing the old parts that City Hall required be reconstructed using the most durable and fireproof materials. This is going to be huge. Oh my gosh, this is monumental for us. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, we're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since. And now, after moving from the USA to Portugal, we'll be documenting our entire journey of building our dreams as we transform a historic water mill into our first home, not on wheels. Join us as we embark on this new and exciting phase of life. Now, Let's take in a deep breath and let it out. Let the adventure begin. Hola amigos and welcome back to another episode. We're particularly excited for the projects that we have in store for this one because the work on our roof is about to begin, which means that Drew and I need to empty the old part of the mill of all of the tools and supplies that are in there because soon it will all be exposed. I don't think I expected that to happen so fast. Basically, this roof is the beginning of all of the work that will begin on the inside of the mill that we will hopefully be living in within, we say one to two years so that we don't get our hopes up too high. And the cats are finding themselves more and more at home. Although at this point we had still only seen Baby and Tom, the two year old <laughs> brother and sister cats of Minu, the one eyed mom cat who we still hadn't seen since we rehomed them and all three escaped from their temporary holding catio after 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Minu. But every single day, we continued to look for her and pray over her, even though after 17 days, we were beginning to wonder if maybe she tried to make the 15-mile journey back home. But with basically no predators on our land, we kept believing that we would see her cute little face pop up someday soon. And we were right. Stay tuned. So the plan is to pile any garbage that we find inside out here. Then we can put it in the trailer, take a load out. And our ultimate hope was that we would have our container here by now so that we could move our tools and supplies into it. But for now, we're just gonna move everything up into the new portion of the mill over here since the roof on this section does not need repaired or anything. We just wanna make sure that this section is empty. Oh boy. There's a lot of stuff in here. And these are the stairs. Then we're gonna have to move everything up, up those stairs. Oh, let's open this door for some light. And all the way up those stairs. Up there. There he is. We need two brooms. Step one, clean the space where all of this stuff will be moving to. Room's compliments of Volker, right? Is that where yeah. we got that? Oh look, I found a, a Brittany broom. <laughs> Catch. It's perfect. Wow. With our gloves and brooms in hand, it was time to start sweeping away the crusty and dusty layers of dirt, grime, smut, soot, and rat poo. And with the floor being a rough layer of concrete, I had to swap out my little light blue Barbie broom for this massive hard bristled industrial broom in order to move anything on our grippy and rocky flooring. It's also handy having two people doing the job because then Drew was able to come in and move this massive yellow drainage pipe, which we'll eventually be placing around the perimeter of the home before rainy season. At least that's the hope. Made my way back up here to the camper for a little break and whenever Drew and I are separated here on our land, we have our walkie talkies so that we can make sure that both of us are safe. If one of us needs help, then we are just a quick button away. Hello, hello. Hello, I am here. <laughs> you wanna come up and take a little break and drink your AG1? I'd love some of that healthy goodness. <laughs> come and get it. 
Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this episode and for being our convenient everyday go-to when it comes to taking care of our health. Have we mentioned we've been taking this for over three years now? It supports our gut health, our minds, our hormones, and it fills any nutritional gaps supporting whole body vitality. With AG1, we're able to make sure that we are getting the adaptogens, the minerals, the multivitamins, prebiotics and probiotics, B vitamins, magnesium, and so much more. Plus, we love the taste and my body craves it. I love having this as part of our routine as something that makes us feel healthy, strong, and ready to take on the project at hand. And if you use our link below right now to sign up, you can try AG1 for yourself and you will get five free bonus travel packs as well as a full year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, which is wonderful for your immunity too. And well, I think Drew would love if I made my way back down to the mill. Decided to repurpose a hairband. Going in. <laughs> Given the fact that our water mill really hadn't been worked on since 2016, it was only natural that it would be in this state. Ew. Ew. So as I was pulling these sheets of polystyrene apart, this insulation, you can see there's like a big curvature on the top of it. The rats had been digging down in the foam that was all sitting in sheets together to make a nest and it's all their pee and poop. Ew. is basically making the feet stick together. So as I pull them apart, you see like the run marks. Ew. Watch. So I go down. Walk, no. to, your, walk to your left. Oh. Ew. That's the... Ugh. That's all the ache. In the bottom there. Well, at least we're going to get that all out of here, right? Just pitch it all. Yep. All right, we'll take it out the window. Oh. Once we get all this stuff cleaned up and moved out of this space, it's gonna seem so much bigger. I'll just like scoop it all to an area and then we can vacuum it. After sweeping the bedroom in the back left corner, we were then able to move all of the wood from the center room so we could then clean it and start moving everything from the downstairs up. Making sure to dust any cobwebs or rat droppings off of everything before we moved it to the clean space, including these tubes, which we think were to be used for in-floor heating, which we definitely plan on doing as well. And as dusty a job as this was, it felt so good to finally be at what felt like the very beginning steps of moving into our first home. Next up, one of our very favorite rooms in the house. The turret. Beautiful wood. A lot of really good stuff in here. Just gotta clean it off good. And there's a lot of smelly, smelly, smelly stuff. <laughs> I feel like an archaeologist brushing away at the corners and unearthing what, you know, was the original skeleton of the water mill. This hasn't been touched for about seven years. So all this dust and little droppings have been collecting for quite a while, but we're starting to see the core essence of what our future home will be. So as I was moving this wood, I wanna show you guys something really important to note about construction and building in Portugal. You can tell there's been beetles or termites or bugs. This is one of the primary reasons why they don't use wood in construction here in Portugal. Which is why we have to get rid of the wooden roof. Yeah, as much so as it's like the beautiful traditional way. Yeah. It's the only way to like have a long term, not always like upkeeping, you know. Yeah. Have success in your home and construction here in Portugal. That right there is the sound of rain. Let's hope it doesn't start flowing too much and end up filling all these buckets up. Oh there it is. The thought of rainy season and that leaking ginormous bank window in the roof there is part of why we were so adamant about getting the roof done before the rains. We really have to appreciate the rain. It's been dry for so many months and this is the first major rainfall. You can hear the birds singing. It's a good feeling. That was really intense. Marty was hanging up there. Marty's the name of our resident bat in the house. You see him? He's right there. You see him? And he's just chilling. That little black dot up there, guys. He's happy in our house. Marty! <laughs> Do I call him like I call the cat? Come here, little batty bat. <laughs> What's a bat sound? Chirp, chirp.
Need two hands, that cardboard might snap and fall everywhere. That's gross. Look at all those rat droppings. Looks like a yoga mat. Ooh, it looks like it got peed on by the rats too. That was actually what was covering the generator sitting here. Oh, that makes sense. So all the bat pee and rat pee is on there. Let's get rid of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Hopefully we can get it down. Let's get this. Let's get that. That's about the size we want our bathtub anyway. <laughs> If only we could line this, then it'd become your bathtub. Yeah. Wow, this thing's huge. Ooh, I measured this back. There we go. Ooh, a little tight, a little tight. This is our junk area. Huh. Ew. You think critters have been in there with it? Take a deep smell down in there. See what it smells like. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> There's definitely some little pooplets in there. <laughs> There's a lot of pooplets right there. Ew. Ew. Mm. All right, time to vacuum. Good morning guys, feeling fresh and Drew's working on refilling our one water tank over here. He was able to refill this one with the lagoon and he's transferring it into here so we can then transfer it into the camper. But I wanted to show you how beautiful this bucket of grapes is that our neighbor brought us this morning. Ooh, this whole bucket, all of this, all of these grapes, all organic, no chemicals. Oh, I love that it comes with leaves. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Oh, one of these grapes already started to turn to a raisin. Oh, and there he goes. I hope that one day we'll be growing enough figs and grapes and oranges and lemons and things like that where we can just give of our abundance to all of our neighbors. We still have a lot of work ahead of us before we get there, but with the rains coming, we got to go back inside of the mill and get to work. So I'm going to rinse off these grapes and we'll see you inside of the house. Woo. Gonna be spraying. Oh my. Okay, ready? Which way are you going? Ah! Not towards me, hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. Go. Ah! Eat the grapes, eat the grapes. Okay, it's full. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay. That was intense. That was intense. I got it. It's a strong spray. I got it. Teamwork. Okay. I got the grape. <laughs> I think they like the beach. <laughs> What's the tool of choice? A machete? Whoa. Or the scissors. Or a small box cutting knife. I think it just like... For anyone who is concerned, I googled it and apparently hornets abandon their nests after like one to two years, so long as like the queen leaves a nest or something. Anywho, that is an abandoned nest. There are no hornets, no bees, no nothing in it. Whatever it once housed, it is empty. I don't think the scissors are the right thing. It's like paper mache lines attached to the wooden beam. Wow. Is it just gonna fall? I don't know. Oh shit. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oops. Well. We put the box in the wrong spot. Wow. I see what you mean about the hexagons in there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Think I can just pick it up? Oh yeah. Whoa. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's the only time I'll probably ever touch one of these. So I've gathered all of the old supplies that they had for making like adobe walls. It unfortunately has now all turned like pretty 
rock solid, it's too old to use, so we just have to haul it out now. You got this. Will it burn? One bag at a time. Tiny and mighty. You know. If I can do it anyway, you do it. We got a full trailer leg going. Got some interesting supplies here. Unfortunately, anything that's material like this rope, this foam that's been chewed through, these bags, go. this old mortar, it's all gotta go. Throw it in there. I only have about 10 more bags. Well done. <sighs> what do you find over there? More Dutch treasures of some sort. I think this is like oil for rust, maybe? Sounds like it's in its original state, so. Keep it for now. Yeah, and there's a bunch of new sponges, which is great. Still wrapped in plastic. That's what we want. Unfortunately, this cement was pretty damp and it's hard as a rock, so we're going to have to pitch that. We have all these too, which it's all rock solid inside. Yeah, when we opened them up and stuck a screwdriver in, it's just rock solid paste. But back here you can see, look at how nasty these cushions are. They are just covered in mold. Ew. Those cushions are nasty. There might be a rat under here. Look at the bottom of that. There's the springs. That is rough. Be so much nicer than the mill doesn't have all this stuff in it anymore. All right, I think we're ready to take this load. Here's our trailer, chuck full. Here in Portugal, we do not have a garbage service, which is comes and picks it up on Thursday mornings or whatever day of the week. We have to go and take this to the dumpster, just like we have to go and take our own recycling. But to be honest, like. It's pretty satisfying. You just feel like it's part of your duty as a human. Am I saying that right? With the garbage and dust and poo cleared out of the way, we could now begin the process of moving everything from the lower portion of the mill to the upper. This lower portion was the area that would be getting the new cement roof and support beams, which is one of the reasons the camera pulled the construction permit from the previous owners. They unfortunately were not amused or enchanted by how magical these giant stone oak trees looked inside. Instead, they required cement or steel support beams in order for the water mill to be granted a habitation license. And that is the goal. One bicycle, another flight of stairs, trying to keep things organized. Water pumps, gas tanks, adventure supplies, cleaning tools. This room, still a bit miscellaneous. So Brittany was up top, just heard me yell. I freaking rounded this corner right here and there's a nail sticking out on the board that clipped me in my ankle. Hit it. That's gotta go. See ya. Gone. Problem solved. Oops. Very carefully. That's better. That's easier for me anyway. Yeah, you were struggling on flat turf. I know. Just feels good to be able to move big things. I had to run up to the camper to get the camera because I think it just saw me new for the first time since we brought them here and they escaped from the catio. Yeah, there's two cats. That's Minu. She looks good. Oh, I'm so relieved. And now they get the beautiful sound of the brambling brook. Until the roof construction starts. <laughs> <laughs> Less than 12 hours. But oh my gosh. I'm going to miss these tree beams and all this beautiful woodwork. How amazing is it going to be in the wintertime that we have this big a space to be sheltered from the elements? It will be unreal. <laughs> you got your holy shirt on and everything. <laughs> Look how cleaned up this place is getting. I got just a little bit more sweeping to do up here. Feeling pretty good about this. I got to do a final sweep. 
move some of the wood pieces, get them all up on the theater room up there. That's what we like to call that area. Thanks to our buddy Matt who came over the other morning and helped me move some of the heaviest of equipment. And I think the roofers will have a nice space where they can just disassemble, take off the roof in a day or two, start making the molds that are the new pillars that'll go here, these big cement beams that are gonna be put there. And then once everything's assembled, we'll move some of the bricks back from the top and install the skylights that we're planning. This is gonna be huge. And this was our huge problem. This skylight, if you guys remember, was leaking like crazy back late spring when we had some downpours. Oh my gosh, this is monumental for us, making leaps and strides, fixing the issues with the Camara, the city hall, so that we can really get living in here, be dry during the winter months, get a heater, start doing the plumbing, the electrician things. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. So I've got this corner swept out, relocated some of these materials. I got a whole bunch of boards over here. Look at all the foam that was chewed up by the rats and the mice in here. And look, there's some scary looking holes between our rocks here where the concrete's come out. Maybe even like a nest hole where the rats were entering into the walls here. Mm. We got some serious work to do here in the future, trying to make sure these walls are sealed back up. No leaks, no rodents in there. A serious, serious bit of work to be done. One step, one project at a time. Check this out. We got all three cats in the house tonight. They look happy. Well, baby's hiding under the car. <laughs> baby! I made a boo-boo. I kicked over the yogurt cup. Come get the yogurt! <laughs> now knowing that all our kitties were at home and safe on the eve of this incredibly full moon, we could rest easy that night and feel especially grateful for what the next day would bring. You could tell us where you were for 17 days. Mom. Hey, Thomas. Hi, patrons. We're here with our kitties. We want you guys to have the inside scoop so that you aren't worried over the next couple of weeks while we release our episodes. But after about 10 minutes in the catio, all maybe them, 15. Maybe 15. All three of them escaped. And then we didn't see Minu for 17 days. And that was very, that was hard. But she is well. They are all happy babies, like the wildest of the bunch. She's romping around somewhere. But all the kitties are happy and so are we. We love you guys. <laughs> So it's a new day. The builders just arrived. They took a look in here, felt good that everything was cleaned out. Said it'd be that much easier. So feeling good about this. They're just unloading, trying to figure out their strategy of how to tackle this project. First thing on the list was assembling the access to the roof. This would be a key part of the project. So I just asked the boss, he said today he thinks they'll get the entire roof removed. They're gonna move some of the tiles that direction of the house and some the other and see how far they get. Stuck in the middle, so we climb the fence. 
that that they're able to save the tiles to reuse them for when we put the roof back together. It's crazy because now we can see the blue foam. All the blue foam that the rats were eating. Yeah, so. the little niblet bites and all like the styrofoam the skewed across the floor. Crazy it goes. Yeah. Tile, foam, then what? Uh, the wood? Yeah, I think the fauna is underneath that. The new roof is going to have tiles, then a layer of lika, which is like a natural fire resistant insulation. It's like little balls of earth and then foam and then the cement blocks and then the stucco finishing touches plaster. that we end up doing but that'll be for a later time look at him pulling up the tiles on the new tank with the foam it's a good thing to have a team yeah. teamwork makes, makes the, the project work, work. <laughs> here's the process he sets them there he lifts them puts them down on the ground and he carries over to the stack working in there are from the Ukraine and these are Drew's favorite candies. They sell them at the grocery store here in town but these are from the Ukraine so maybe these will bring back fond memories. They are really good. <laughs> and of course I got a jug of water. Wow. I know right? You're peeking there. Wow. Hola. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> See the huge stack of uh, insulation. Wow. With the loose. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> wow. Are we ready for this? Are you ready? Our workers have gone home for the evening, and let's see what they accomplished. The whole roof wow. is gone. Everything but the window. <gasps> I don't think I expected that to happen so fast. <sighs> they literally wow. took all the ceramic tiles off, took off all the insulation and stacked it here, ripped up all the bamboo, and piled it out on that side. Oh. <sighs> Wow. It was five guys to start with, and then three of the guys basically worked majority of the day. They are efficient. And this project has officially started. <laughs> day one is over. Wow. They're going to be making a cement molding to replace the tree Huge. beams as columns and, yeah. and the principal beam that goes across here. This morning they said they felt like the window was super dangerous and with three guys they could use my help for a fourth guy just to try to lower it down. But when I came back they said, mm, let's hold off on that today. Maybe that'll be tomorrow's project along with the beams up high. Guess you'll have to wait around until the next episode. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you guys are the best. Love you guys. Thank you.